sometimes people do feel that they've tried everything and maybe it's just time to end the relationship. And part of the, the work and craft is about helping the person try to shift things and end the relationship a bit, to try to contact more of the positive things if they're there to kind of help their loved one get in, get into treatment. Um, the decision about whether or not to stay or to leave a marriage is, is pretty complex. And in craft, what we coach people to do is, you know, first let's kind of try these, we'll try these skills and we'll give them, you know, we'll really work at them and we'll try to create kind of more positive communication, more positive um, time spent together. And typically when that happens, people kind of start to shift their view of the relationship because now the relationship is no longer dominated by arguing and negativity and you don't ever listen to me and if you really cared about me, then you would just stop drinking. Instead, it you know becomes more about, okay, like the love and the connection that they share. And sometimes, many times people choose to stay and other times people still choose to leave. And so I think, again, it is like a person-by-person -person decision, but we will work, we work really hard to kind of help try to shift the relationship as much as we can from the, from the family member's perspective. And oftentimes, as they're working on that, as things start to shift, they become interested in couples counseling, and so, you know, we make recommendations to couples counseling, and there is couples counseling that's been designed for people who have addictions. Um, it's a very effective treatment, and, and so we recommend that people really look into that if, they're, if they want to continue with the work and to stay in the relationship.